Bonjour à tous, ravi d'être avec vous. Alors, je suis Mehdi Berada. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mehdi. I'm founder of Agronutis. La première entreprise à avoir élevé des insectes en France. On a commencé en 2011. It's the first company to start rearing insects in France. We started in 2011. We're now moving into the industrialization. Phase. We raised money last year to, to create a, a factory. And we'll be able to serve clients second quarter next year. Why are in part que la farine de poisson La farine de poisson qu'on remplace dans la coaxure et grâce à ces fonds de nourriture et de nourriture et de nourriture mon enfance, je crois qu'on n'échappe jamais à nos enfants. Mon enfance m'a beaucoup marqué. Je ne pense pas qu'on n'échappe jamais à nos enfants. Mon enfance m'a beaucoup marqué. Je ne pense pas qu'on n'échappe jamais à nos enfants. Mon enfance m'a beaucoup marqué. Je viens d'une famille très bourgeoise. I come from a very bourgeois family from my maternal side, and on my maternal side, I've come from a more working class back background. So I, I witnessed very different Moroccos. I spoke Arabic and French at the same time. So I was also impregnated with these influences, these childhood experiences. Um, anchored things in me. There's, there are different representations of reality and truth depending on where you are in the world. Diversity, I, I was actually influenced by collective intelligence. It's something that I've always carried with me. I think really our, our paths are really um, to France and I was ambitious. I wanted to work in an investment bank. Et je commence à travailler dans un environnement qui il y a énormément d'émulation intellectuelle. Mais ça ne nourrit pas assez. It's very intellectual backdrop, but I wasn't didn't feel sufficiently nourished by this backdrop. I got involved in negotiations. Je regarde des partis politiques parce que j'ai envie d'agir. I looked at political parties because I wanted to commit or become more engaged. Citoyen et être professionnel, et ça devient vraiment une dissonance. Et j'ai envie d'aller dans le monde intérieur. Et donc, je I started to listen to what, my, what was going on in my head. I, I, I started working, working in a, in a company with, with a friend. Often complain, there's a lot of commitment on the part of companies, and yet we are often the breeding grounds for new commitments. So I was thinking, at what point is it the most complicated? It's when we have given us a lot of freedom and autonomy. And we really said, why would we build a company that has a lot of liberty? When we really are most successful, it's when we have freedom. Et dans laquelle la liberté est le cœur. Donc c'est une transformation radicale. I want to work in a company where there is freedom. It was really a radical transformation, and it's also resulted in a personal transformation. We're talking about transformation in in companies, but of course the initial transformation operates in you. Des des choses auxquelles je dois être confronté. Par exemple, il y a une phrase qui m'accompagne depuis lors. I faced things that the self. The, the phrase that is with me, be the change that you'd like to witness in the world. It might seem quite naive, naive as, a, as a phrase, but it's actually extremely deep. It's about being good energy. If you want to transform something, work on yourself. Even if you have extraordinary aspirations, you're a contradiction at, at the beginning. You need to work with yourself. There are contradictions within you that you need to work on. When we have experienced success, we have an ego, and you don't necessarily rely on collective intelligence. So it's a painful journey, but it's also a, a journey that will set you free. We need to be honest with ourselves and ensure that we move towards such a metamorphosis. It's a moment of joy when you get there, because gradually you'll come to this realization. You fit your own values, and that's the challenge. After that, that wasn't enough. I went to something that was even more transformative. I started up another company with Cedric. 
qui porteront la transformation environnementale, mais aussi la transformation sociale. We wanted to ensure we're working in, in environmental transformation, but it's a transformation that operates in society as well. We want to look at shared governance and ensure that there's a democratic principle within companies. As founders, we've decided that we, we won't necessarily be the ones with the power. Personally, there are people who are elected by employees. Me, personally, I don't have the power to take certain decisions. I've deliberately decided to not take these decisions. It actually frees you. When you go on a personal journal of tra journey of transformation, you, you realize that letting go is, sets you free because you're in the right place at the right time. To give you an example, now I feel a lot more comfortable when I'm taking the floor at an event like this. In reality, we've, we've created the necessary conditions. If people are listening to me, it's because I feel legitimate. It allows me to be freer, it allows me to be where I'd like to be. At the end of the day, metamorphosis for me, it's something that goes outside, but it's also a, a process of deconstruction. It's an inner voyage towards our inner child. The dreams that we had and the aspirations that we had on a deep level. I really encourage all of you to find this inner music, this inner soul and deconstruct all these layers that build up our personality. I'll finish with, a, with another phrase. In the world, there's no salvation, there's just lost children.